92 loves to keep you in the mix. Mix 92.9's Joe Breezy keeping us up to date on the weekend's biggest events. Okay, so there's a lot of big shows. Right. And where are we starting? Well, here's the thing. But first, I want to shout out some of my favorite bands that have been making some noise for a while. Kind of like on, this, on a smaller scale, but like in a really cool way. Okay. Um, so there's this band called My So-Called Band, and they're a cover band, mm -hmm. and it's a bunch. It's like a bunch of people in the band, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they do all 90s cover songs. Amazing. And they do everything from grunge to like hip hop to like TRL pop anthems and all that. So like it's all hits and everybody in the audience like knows every single word and is just singing aloud, singing loud and having a blast. And they're going to be performing at the Basement East tonight. Uh, the show starts at 9 p.m. and it's like 15 bucks to get in. Oh so it's God. super easy. That is going to be so, so much, much fun. Fun. Like literally, like I finally got a chance to see him a few weeks ago and I'm like, yes, more of that, please. And they should dress the theme too. Oh, they absolutely do. It's yeah. a whole thing. And people in the audience, you dress as the, your 90s kind of throwback stuff. Good. And it's just a good time all around, you know? Uh, so the All American Rejects, now they're performing at the Municipal Auditorium. Now these, these dudes are still crushing it. Uh, and I'm definitely here for it. Now they originally formed in 1999, really blew up like in the mainstream, like in the mid to late 2000s, if, if you remember that. Um, and they still have like all original of like their four group members which is, isn't yeah. always the case. Uh, I've been big fans of them for a long time. I've been lucky enough to like interview them backstage. This was us in, uh, in 2009, just really cool dudes. Um, um, I think that's them. Is that them Wait. though, Joe? I, that is not them. That yeah, because Tyler's the main, he's the main uh, singer, he's the lead, and he has long hair. I Who mean, is that band? You are posing as if you are part of that boy band. Well, it's like the, it's like the, it's like the boy band wannabe with the self-tanner injecting himself in a, in a pop group, a pop punk group. We are in Who a conundrum. We need to figure out who this band is. <laughs> we did post it on socials. We're like, I don't know who that is. Yeah, we don't know who it is, but we will find <laughs> out. We will get to the yes. bottom of this. <laughs> All right, now here's the thing. Tomorrow night, I want to talk about it. This is big time. Mm -hmm. Guns and Roses. Now they're taking over Geodis Park, a band that needs no introduction, and you do not need for me to tell you how major they are. <laughs> Just know that they're ready to rock, all right? This entire band, Yes, Axel, Axel's gonna show up. Yes, Slash with his hair and his cig hanging out of his mouth and everything is gonna take you back for sure. And this is one of those tours where they do all their hits, so you're not gonna be disappointed. Danielle and I are gonna be there, my wife, Danielle Breezy and I, and shout out to my 80s rocker babe, it's gonna be amazing. Oh Definitely say hi if you see us out and about. I'm gonna have a full, few cold brews in my system as I should. It's only appropriate, it's G and R. I wanna see I some ready. head banging. Right, yeah. might hurt my neck, getting older and my, my back, but there's we'll gonna be some We'll keep it moving. together, you gotta be in. here next yeah. week. Okay. It'll be good. Yeah, this All is right. true. Okay, <laughs> moving along. Moving along, pop news and hot gossip. Always got to keep you in the know. That's also my, right. my job. So mm -hmm. now we're t we, we've been hearing rumors about remaking a classic movie, but replacing mm -hmm. a legend with one of the most polarizing figures in the world. Okay. I'm going to tell you about that in just a few seconds. Hey, <laughs> but let's talk about Harry Styles because I want I want to get your opinion on this. Okay, so okay. Harry Styles has a new fragrance that is inspired by the sweet, sweet lovin', if you know what I mean. Oh. Now, this is like under his Pleasing Beauty brand, and it's said to be, quote, formulated to evoke smells of skin on skin and brief encounters, end quote. It's gonna be composed of three scents, rivulets, closeness, and bright hot, with a release date yet to be confirmed. So, uh, Laura, would you wear a fragrance, a fragrance that Harry Styles mirrored after one of his brief encounters. I mean, a thousand percent. I'm obsessed with Harry Styles. Okay. I love him so much. Skin on skin, I'm man actually musk like, and all. I'm actually kind of yeah. blushing right now because right. that's like a lot. Okay, well, you, I'll buy it for you for Christmas. Oh, I just gave up your Christmas present now. No but surprise I will there. take it. Yes, totally. Yes. <laughs> all three. Yes, there you go. Thank you. Uh, speaking of Harry Styles, now there's still strong rumors, which I mentioned before, uh, about him possibly performing at this year's uh, Super Bowl halftime show, right? Ah. But here's the thing. Now I'm hearing that if that happened, he definitely wouldn't be doing it alone, which is no surprise, but he'd be performing with Miley Cyrus. <gasps> she would join him. Okay, that would be incredible. Those yeah. two together? Totally. And like the, the eras and the chapters and she's been making music for a long time even since like the Disney days right. and all that. So yeah. um, I think that would be awesome. But, and, but check this out. This is another cool thing. So okay. the governor of Nevada, because the Super Bowl is going to be in Las Vegas, he, he wants ACDC to perform. But what if it's ACDC, I guess, headlining, and then Harry and Miley, like it's a collaboration of all genres, new and old. That can be kind of dope. Like I can see that happening. I could see it happening mainly because, you know, the Super Bowl attracts so many totally. different yeah. types of people. Yeah. And so I think, why not have something for everyone? Yeah, so. 
Okay, Fingers well, crossed. I guess we'll see we'll what happens. We'll keep our eyes peeled and maybe we'll see the Titans. Yes, yeah. there you go. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, this is actually really surprising, but you got to be ready for this. This is okay. going to surprise you, okay? So, Meghan Markle might star in Bodyguard 2. <gasps> yes, with Kevin Costner. But here's the crazy thing when you think about it. Like, when you think about Whitney Houston, who obviously was the star in the mm. first one, RIP, yeah. um, she played a star. Like, and she was already a star, right? Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of commonalities and it just totally made sense. Meghan Markle, it's kind of the same thing, right? Like, she can't leave the house without paparazzi following her every single move. So it could be a perfect fit and kind of effortless for her. Like, I'm not mad at it. I've been binge watching Suits on Netflix and I kind of wanted to hate on Meghan Markle until I watched her work and I'm all, she's kind of good. Like, I don't know. I, I, think stand, she's by, I stand by Whitney. 100%. Through and through. Yeah. Through and through. Right, but that's obviously not an option, unfortunately, anymore. Yeah. Okay, so let's just pretend if that did happen, which this could really happen, would you watch it? Would you give it a shot? Just to see what it's all about and to see if she can really act. Yeah, and then she might just totally just take, surprise the world and take it over by storm, and all of a sudden, like, Meghan Markle is, like, back on top and people aren't hating on her as much. Back on top. Back on top. Back on top. We'll yeah. see. All right. Well, <laughs> speaking of movies, this Sunday is a cheap way to see the Barbie movie, Oppenheimer, or any other movie you want. Guess what? It's National Cinema Day. That means $4 movie tickets at most theaters. It's happening this weekend. So last year was the first year for the event, and it was the highest attended day of the year in theaters. I mean, I see why. When was the last time you went to I, the movies? I took Danielle to see Top Gun Maverick, and it's one of those four. D ones where like you shake and the roller coaster and they're spraying you with water and all that like literally yeah. she she got motion sickness and left 20 minutes after the movie started and I finished it and took an Uber home that was the last time we did that you too all right we're <laughs> gonna have to get a check of the weather